So let's talk about managing Windows services. Now there's a couple of different ways we can do that. We can do that from the GUI or we can do that from PowerShell. So hmm, click and I can go to Control Panel Services or I can search for services. Either one will work. So I'm going to search for services and here's my services desktop app. <clears throat> and this is going to give me all of my services. And so I've got the standard view which is gives me actually a little bit more here, but it doesn't really give me a description of it. Um, but if I go to the extended view and I click on a service, it tells me what my description is. And then gives me a little lot, a few options here. So I have the service name, the service description, the service status is normally running, starting, stopped. Normally it should be running or blank. And then here's your startup type. Now, I can manage a service by double clicking. Let me choose the background intelligent transfer service here. So I double click on it and I can start, stop, pause, resume. I can also do the same thing by right clicking, start, stop, pause, resume, or by using these buttons up here, or by using the buttons over here, which are context sensitive. So let <clears throat> me go back to my properties. So I can manage it. This tells me a little bit about it. Log on um, tells me how it's going to log on, what its recovery options are, and what its dependencies are. So this service depends on RPC. Nothing depends on it. Also under general is the startup type. Now things that we're going to do with services. We'll start them, stop them, and change the startup type. And more often than not, most of our daily management, if we're working with services, is going to be starting and stopping. But here I can change the startup type from manual to automatic to disabled to automatic delayed start, which means it'll automatically come up. It's just going to take it a little while longer to do so. In fact, if um, when we, oops, I still have a dialog box open. Um, when we look at, there we go, the uh, management here, remember when we reboot the server, it comes up and says, hey, we've got four services that aren't started. Well, those are automatic delayed start. And it just takes them a couple of minutes. And we do delayed start services because we want them to come up automatically, but they don't have to come up right away. And by delaying the start, it lets other more high priority things start up first. So that's one way I can manage them. I can manage them by the services app. I can also on my server go to services here and look at anything that is um, that I have any alerts on. Or I can go to my local server and look at my services. Get this thing to stop jumping around on me. My services here. And here I can view all of my different services and uh, their current status. And depending on what it is, that one I can't let me find. Let's see, this one's not sorted by display name. So let's sort it by name and find our background intelligent transfer service. And this will let me start stop, but it's not gonna let me do some other things like uh, configure them and set login view dependencies and set startup type. Now the other way that I can manage them, you come back to my dashboard here, is from PowerShell. So I'm going to right click and go to Windows PowerShell in admin mode. And I have a handful of commandlets that I can use here. So the first one is going to be get service and that's going to get all of my services for me. So I'm going to do get service bits and that'll show me that particular service. Or I can view all of them and <clears throat> there's a bunch of different ways we can manage them. The other thing that we can do is we can use start service, stop service, pause service. So I'm going to do get service bits and I'm going to pipe that to start service. And that's going to start my service for me. Now if I do get service bits, I'll see that it's running. And I can also pipe that to a stop service. I could also use the command just stop service bits as well. And now when I get service on bits, we're going to see that it stopped. So a few different ways to manage services. I can manage them using PowerShell. I can manage them using the services app. And I can manage them from the server manager.